WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading week, and we got markets in positive territory. Dow Jones up 163 points currently, trading just above 26,000, 26,014. S&P's up 16 points, trading 2790. And the NASDAQ up 56 points, trading 7516. Got some action in gold, up $7.60 at 1335.40. Oil up 40 cents, trading at 57.35. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. 10-year note up 12 ticks, 122.09. 30-year bond up 30 ticks, trading at 146.23. And the dollar index off 123 ticks at 96.340. Three hours left to go in the trading week. Let's take a look at some of the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. We reached a high just about an hour ago, right at noon. We're up there, 26,042. You get the Dow futures. This is the March contract trading 26,006. Excuse me, NASDAQ 100, we're as high as, let's see, 7,100 on the dot just before noon, back up at that level right at noon, currently trading 7,088. S&P 500 trading at 2790. We're up at about 2794, right at that noon high. There's your gold contract accelerating higher. Highs of the session basically as we speak up here at 1334.97. Backing things up to put that in context. There was your fall from Wednesday, middle of the day, all the way down to a low that we had. That's end of the day yesterday, essentially. And then early this morning at about 815, we take off topside. Crude oil, volatility as well. We peaked early in the session, about 8 or 9 in the morning at 57.80, currently trading 57.28. And the pound getting some action today as well. We trade lower, down to below 129.76 about. And from there, we're approaching a full penny higher, 130.68 in the price of the pound dollar. In terms of what else you have out there, movers and shakers, we talked about it during the program. Kraft Heinz, quite a decline for sure, as their shares down about 25% on a $15 billion write down for only a $60 billion company. Along with that, decreasing their dividend and also SEC investigation subpoena for accounting irregularities. The other big stock up the, out there, stamps.com, ending a relationship with the U.S. Postal Service as a result of the U.S. Postal Service wanting them to be a sole, basically exclusive partner, and they weren't going to do that. And there is your chart on Kraft Heinz, down 27%. Stay tuned, folks.